Hello everyone, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day as a vegan and so here's what I had to eat one day last week. For breakfast I made banana and coconut yogurt overnight oats with a blueberry compote. I made this up the night before by mashing up a banana in a bowl. Then I added in half a cup of coconut yogurt, half a cup of coconut milk, a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla powder and a tiny pinch of salt. I mixed that together well and then I added in half a cup of rolled oats and mixed it through again. I then transferred that over to a bowl and placed it in the fridge overnight. In the morning I took it out and then I had some defrosted from frozen blueberries which I added a tablespoon of maple syrup to and microwaved for around a minute and I then just added that on the top. I've always made my overnight oats with just milk but the banana and the yogurt in this makes it so so creamy it feels like you're eating a dessert. I also love the combination of the cold creamy oats with the warm blueberry compote it's delicious and you can make this in so many different ways using different yogurts and fruits on the top. For a snack just before lunch, I made these cheese and onion kale chips. I first preheated the oven to 100 degrees Celsius and then I took about four cups of fresh kale which I'd washed and destemmed. I placed that in a big bowl and then added in a teaspoon of olive oil. I then massaged that in well with my hands before then adding in one teaspoon of onion granules, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast and some salt and black pepper. I massaged the seasonings in well and then spread those out across two lined baking shelves. The key is not to let the pieces of kale touch because they'll stay soggy. I then pop those in the oven to bake for around 15 minutes and after 15 minutes they should come out nice and crisp. These literally taste like cheese and onion crisps but obviously a lot healthier. It's one of my favourite snacks to make and I find that the natural flavour of the kale works really well with these seasonings too but you could add anything you like, paprika and garlic granules also work really nicely on kale chips as well. For lunch I made a vegan Caesar salad. I started by making some crunchy garlic and herb chickpeas by draining a can of chickpeas and then I dried them on a tea towel. I added those to the same bowl I made the kale chips in and then added in one teaspoon of olive oil, gave them a good shuffle to coat them well and then I added in half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon each of dried basil dried oregano and dried parsley and then seasoned with salt and black pepper. I gave the bowl another good shake to coat the chickpeas in the seasoning and then I tipped those out into a baking dish and made sure they were spread out evenly and then I popped them in the oven to bake for around 45 minutes which was still on 100 degrees celsius as I put them in once the kale chips were out. Meanwhile I made a hemp Caesar dressing by adding half a cup of hemp seeds with a third of a cup of water, the juice of half a lemon, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one minced clove of garlic, one teaspoon of vegan Worcester sauce, some salt and black pepper into my blender and then I blended that up until it was smooth. I next sliced two slices of seeded bread into cubes and then I heated up one tablespoon of olive oil in a pan and added the bread in. I then sprinkled over one teaspoon of dried thyme and gave them a good shuffle and then left them to crisp up for around eight to 10 minutes, turning them continuously. I then left those to cool and removed the chickpeas to cool as well. I then sliced up a head of romaine lettuce and added that to a mixing bowl. I then poured in a good amount of the hemp Caesar dressing and gave it a really good mix. And then I placed that on a plate, added on some of the remaining cheese and onion kale chips, 
a good few handfuls of the garlic and herb crunchy chickpeas, the croutons and then drizzled on some more of the Caesar dressing and sprinkled on a little nutritional yeast. I actually won't often have a salad for lunch but I love a good vegan Caesar salad especially with the crunchy chickpeas which are like mini croutons really as well as the bread croutons which are so easy to make and are a really great way to use up slightly stale bread. The dressing is delicious too. I think I've created this in a video before but I also have a recipe for a cashew Caesar dressing which is delicious and I will link to that in the description box below the video. For something mid-afternoon I had some hot oatly chocolate milk and a Bionna maple syrup waffle. I've mentioned before how much I love this oatly chocolate milk, it is so good and delicious hot or cold. I mainly drink it cold as like a milkshake but it's just as amazing as a hot chocolate as well. And I just heated up a cupful in a small saucepan. I haven't come across any other waffles like this that are vegan, they usually contain butter or egg and some of the other Bionna flavours aren't vegan but the Bionna maple syrup ones are vegan and basically you just sit it on top of the cup containing a hot drink and the steam from the drink melts the caramel in the centre of the waffle and it just goes really soft and gooey and it's delicious dipped into your drink as well. For dinner I made some sun-dried tomato artichoke and spinach spaghetti. I started by heating up a splash of water in a large pan on a medium heat. I then finely chopped a white onion, added that to the pan and then I minced three cloves of garlic. I added the garlic to the pan and then fried everything off until it was soft. Next I chopped up around half a cup of jarred artichoke hearts and six sun-dried tomatoes and because these are quite oily that's why I fried the onions and the garlic in water. I then added those to the pan along with one teaspoon of paprika. I stirred it well and then fried it off for a further few minutes. Next I added in two packed cups of fresh spinach, half a cup of torn fresh basil, seasoned it well with salt and black pepper, stirred it all through and left the spinach to wilt down. Over in another pan I added some boiling water and a pinch of pink salt and then I brought that up to a boil before then adding in some whole wheat spaghetti. After around seven to eight minutes once the spaghetti was al dente I then drained it off and added it to the pan with the spinach, artichoke and sun-dried tomato and mixed it all through. I then added in around one tablespoon of nutritional yeast and then turned it through again. I then plated that up between two dishes. If there's any of the spinach, artichoke and sun-dried tomato left in the pan, I just add that on the top. And then I garnished the spaghetti with some more fresh basil. I shared a fairly similar recipe to this not too long ago with some roast vegetables like aubergine and peppers. So I'll link to that in the description box below. These kind of non-saucy drier pasta dishes are actually my favorite kind of pastas. And in this one, there are just so many flavors and textures. You could add more into it too. Some olives, chili flakes, and fresh rocket would all work really nicely. It's a really delicious and filling meal. For 
for dessert I had these chocolate and hazelnut spread stuffed strawberries. I first removed the strawberry tops, I feed these as a treat to my bunnies so they don't go to waste and then I carefully carved out a little dip in each strawberry. Again I don't waste these, either the bunnies will have them or I'll throw them into a smoothie. I then took the Mr Organic Dairy Free Chocolate and Hazelnut spread and stuffed each strawberry with it. It's basically like a vegan Nutella but so much better. I then had some crushed hazelnuts as well so I sprinkled those on top of each strawberry. A really quick and easy dessert, super yummy, I love strawberries and chocolate together and this is just another way of doing it. And that's it for another day on my plate. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, all of the recipes will be written up or linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.